All right, so let's jump right into it here. Grand finals. I'm oh, sorry, loser finals. Charlie versus Nido, and he immediately sides up with an up, put him to the up air. Great spacing here, looking to whip punish Nido, and immediately Nido retreats to the ledge to go for the uh, get up. Nice, Charlie able to DI in. Sorry, the, a directional air dodge in. Goes for Jack, who puts Needle off the stage here at 180%, looking to drop down for the Nair, putting Needle off the stage, and not enough range for the Shari. You can actually come back on the stage. Oh, great play from Charlie. Shari, you can? Yeah. I, f I think Charlie could hold, hold the, the down and away to actually DI it properly. I wasn't sure if that was the percent where he can't DI it at all, and it doesn't matter. Nice. The one thing I do like about Charlie is he's looking for a lot of dash dancing to kind of get in and out of Ken's range. But the big problem here is that Nido does buy himself enough time by kind of slowly closing the gap. Charlie tries to land down near to stop Ken from coming back with Shoryu. My Jace, the scenario here, I like kind of kind of comes back, puts the blaster, hoping that Ken's going to go ahead and shield and that will buy Charlie a little bit of time here to pick the next option. Nice empty hop from the fall throw. Like looking at it, kind of change up. If he doesn't get the back air, he'll land with the up smash, especially the fact that he knows Ken might be going for the focus attack. No tech chase. Sure, you Charlie holding the right down here. He, will, he can still survive at the percent, but usually around 103. Uh, Ken Shoryu sure will definitely probably start killing Most in, indefinitely. Nice spacing here. Looking to punish Nido for overextending, letting him know that there's a sense of false security at the ledge. I'm only letting go of ledge to kind of stop you from approaching with an aerial. Nice. Trying doesn't want to take too much percent. Dash dance. He puts Nido at the ledge. For Nido here, he kind of has to pick his right option or he could get grabbed. It was just an inch away from the low space back here, too. Alright. Neutral coming in here for both Nido and Charlie. And let's think about Charlie, too. He doesn't want to take too much percent. He doesn't want to let go of Neutral too much, but Nido kind of gets Charlie at the corner, stuck here for the down tilt. Tatsu to kind of corner pair him to the, to the center stage, and Charlie with an immediate up smash. Forward airs. Up throw up air. Nice, and Charlie immediately gets in the range where the up smash will be enough to scoop Nido for the landing. No tech chase. Only only dash attack. Charlie still able to get away from crossing him up. Tough trade here between his neutral and Ken's back air. <clears throat> Spot dodge was not the right call here. Game one, go to Nido. thing about Charlie here is he's going to have to be able to <laughs> to read Nido's recovery options. The sweater is off. Charlie leaning in here making sure that the next game is going to go securely in his hands. Forward air. Nice. Nido immediately putting in the 40%. Forward air going to the up air. Looking to put him off the stage with the back air. No 
protect for Nito too, and that was, that's one thing that Charlie was looking for a lot last game here. There's a lot of tech scenarios, and the one time Nito was not able to get away here. Charlie takes a stock, but Nito immediately trying to mix up Charlie with the shore you facing the opposite direction here. Nice. Lands after the second forward air, and he kind of senses down Nito's option, able to go for the grab and punish him directly. Oh, that was good space, though. Not enough. Wolf Flash immediately to come back on the stage. Go back airs. Nice parry. Immediately into the down tilt. Still enough to put Nito off the stage. A couple dash dances here. He's looking for a grab. Tatsu to kind of carry Charlie to the right side of the stage. Forward throw. Good parry. Immediate up smash. Charlie's got stage control. This forces Nito to go pick one of the corners. No, Charlie should still be so Oh no! Charlie could have still help with the eye directionally down and away. There, back air, yep. Charlie only taking 12% in that interaction here. One stock up piece here, but Nito immediately puts Charlie off the stage 58%. If Charlie has to land, he has to be careful of landing with an aerial forward air. Almost gets the grab up to the second forward air. It looks like it wasn't even enough, even with Kent's fall speed. Charlie has to go for the low recovery. Charyu, and that'll do it. And Nito moves up 2-0 against Charlie. If, if any... Same thing, too, is that Charlie... Not only does Charlie lose to Nito, it's also... It's also, um... K9. Both, both wolves from SoCal seem to be in the struggling point against Nino too as well. All right here, game three. Potentially the last game for Charlie if he can make the comeback. With Tatsu. for the up Dash attack. Immediately going for the... Tatsu. Okay. Shari, you there, and nearly he only hits the shield... up too. I'm so sorry. That, that opportunity here, Charlie was more afraid of the Shoryu, but at this opportunity here, that's one thing that Nito kind of understood, right? The way he's been losing the Shoryu, Nito changes up the last second there, and you really get the spike. Yeah. And man, just like, being a wolf and just wanting to get back on stage, landed right into it. I'm smashing not even enough. Well, that's one of the things both Ken and Ryu have is the weight. And the tipper hit of Unsmash, yeah. enough to kind of hit, um, have to hit Nito. Tipper hit of Wolf up smash. Yeah, the platform is not safe. But then you know it's boys and girls. Late and gentlemen. And you know the special uh, platform uh, is pretty high. Yeah. Wolf's up smash does have pretty solid range too, especially in terms of height. Yeah, there's like select characters that have like that kind of high I think uh, Yoshi might also like to do that one. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looked like he's oh. trying to go for another. Uh, yeah, and that was still good from Charlie too because he went for an empty hop to go for a grab and try to get Nido off the focus attack, but he unfortunately he did not get the opportunity here. Nice. Charlie let Nido wasting time to try to get, uh, worry about projectiles. He wants to make sure he jumps over him here. But that also could be conditioning for Nido to also understand if Charlie's going to jump over projectiles, he can call him off for Joker from it too. Dash attack. Nice. He was going to have to force the low recover here. And he still makes it back. I'm just trying to uh, cover that aggressive option. Oh, okay. Nice. That was good too from Charlie because he low profiles enough to get away from the up tilt from Ken. And then he also punishes Nito for being in that range. That's still not enough. Charlie at 85% here off the stage. He's going to tough spot here already to the other side. He has to watch out by getting hit. That was weird, but I think it was a good mix up. Just uh, not going straight to the ledge, but uh, he didn't really be able to make much of it. And clean 3-0 coming from Nito. And 